Thanks to the Gutenberg editor, you could easily embed YouTube videos using the YouTube embed block. From a poster page, you can press the add block button, which is this plus icon right here in the center. Now just type in YouTube and select the first option. Now on YouTube, all we have to do is click the share button, copy the link, go back to our WordPress page and paste the URL and press embed. And that's it. To embed a playlist, we're gonna navigate to it, press the share icon, copy the playlist link, head back over to our WordPress page, press the pencil icon, change the link and press embed. And just like that, the playlist is now embedded as we can tell by the icon up here showing one out of seven. It's worth noting that this will show just the first video, but once that video is complete, it will then play the next one. Plus the user can navigate to the hamburger icon at the top to actually choose which video out of the playlist they wanna watch. Let's go over the different settings we have available. When you click the embed box, a toolbar will show up along the top. From left to right, the options are as follows. Change block type or style, drag, move up or down, change alignment, edit URL, and options. When you click options, you'll see more settings. This includes copy, duplicate, insert before, insert after, move to, edit as HTML, add to reusable blocks, group, or remove block. In the right-hand sidebar, you'll see a couple more options. If they're not showing up, you need to press this settings icon at the top right of your screen. Media settings lets you control how the embedded video is viewed when a user is on a smaller device like a smartphone. It's best to turn this setting on so that the aspect ratio is preserved when the browser is resized, which can make for a better viewing experience. There's also an advanced tab that lets you add CSS to the embed block, which means you can customize and style it in more advanced ways. If you want the video to start playing at a specific part instead of the beginning, you could set that when copying the URL. Select the share button, Check off the start at section and enter your time right there. Now copy the link with the updated little section here, paste it in, embed. And now when we play the video, it'll start directly at usage. two minutes. Also, while the YouTube embed block is great, if you have more advanced needs, you may want to consider using a third party plugin. For example, you can't easily create a gallery or insert your YouTube page with the embed block. So you may need a plugin with more functionality. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.